Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Gola here. Today I'm going to give you five beginner tips for the Battle of Polytopia that you need to know in order to win. Let's get started. Enemy units will hinder your movement distance. If you've ever wondered why you can't move a rider very far, even though you're using roads, it could be because there's an enemy unit blocking your movement. In this example, my Omaji rider is blocked by a Kiku warrior, and can only move one tile. But once that warrior is dead, my rider is free to move two tiles since it's not being blocked. Enemy units will hinder the amount of distance your troops can move, and will stop you right in your tracks. If one of your cities is getting sieged, and you can't kill the unit on your city, level up your city and get a super unit. This will stop the siege and force the enemy unit off of your city. If there's one tech you need for a great economy, it's trading. Trade lets you get customs houses, which give you two stars per turn for each nearby port. This lets you get a huge amount of stars per turn, which will let you get a whole lot of battleships. Get to the center of the map as fast as you can. If you can block other tribes from getting more villages and growing faster, your victory will be guaranteed. The population bar represents how close your city is to leveling up. One population represents one section of the bar. Each time you level up your city, the bar gets larger, and you gain one extra star per turn, and you gain a perk. So there you go, five quick tips for beginners that will help you get better in the Battle of Polytopia and win. If this video helped you, check out my video on the Ultimate Zinzi Strategy Guide. I'll see you in the next video. Have a spectacular day.